What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. Uh, I just got home from church and Sydney stayed at church. But before I get into this video, which really isn't much, but my room is a mess. Look at this, y'all. Mess. <laughs> so before I clean up my room, it's, it's just a few. This could literally take me about 10 minutes to clean. I already vacuumed really, really well last week. I don't vacuum every week. <clears throat> so how was your day going? Today is Sunday. I don't know when I'm going to get this up. It may be Tuesday, it may be Wednesday. I don't know. But you know, I'm just going with the flow. How is your day going at this moment that you're watching this video? <laughs> well, how did it go? If it's at nighttime, you know what I mean. You get the picture. So anyway, I've tried out Sydney's church, which is predominantly white. And... And then I tried a black church. And it was predominantly black the service was good the music was awesome everything was great but i don't want to drive that far to go to church point blank period point blank point blank period it is what it is sis i don't want to drive that far to go to church but it was good the service was good everybody's beautiful everybody was done up honey you know you go to the black church honey they gonna be dressed to the nines yes hair hats and this and that and you know the, the the church and the choir director is just on it, honey. Yes, he is. <laughs> Everybody look beautiful. They could be in the magazine, the Ebony magazine, honey. Yes. And then you have Sydney's church. You have a little bit of everything. You have sneakers. You have t-shirts. You have shorts in the winter time. You have a little bit of everything. And when they say come as you are, that's what they do. They come as they are. You know, then you have a few people that dress up. So you just get a little bit of everything. So Sydney was going to church today. Hold, hold on, let me light my candle. Because I have a lot that I'm about to do. And I'm going to take my clothes off, so on and so forth. You know, I just threw this on. I don't even know what y'all could see. I do my wild leg slacks. Ugh. Child, ain't nothing to see. So I'm going to light some candles. Light my candles, okay? And... So, Sydney is doing confirmation. I don't know what that is. Something that you do after you get baptized. Some people do it before they get baptized. And, you know, for 2020, I say, let me, for 2020, I say, let me do different things. You know, let me start going to church. Maybe I'll get different results with my life. <laughs> but, you know, I just said, you know, uh, you, let me just start going to church. That was something I wanted to do for me. So I've gone every Sunday since 2020 and I went to, um, Sydney went to her teen church today and there are three different services on the campus where Sydney is. Okay, move this over, got my candles going, I love my candles and I'll put another candle over on this side and I got everything going on. And my stuff I have to put back. I have to put things back exactly where I find them. Because if I don't, I will never find this. So let me put this back. So before I get into this video, let me start taking my clothes off. And I'm going to put my workout clothes on as well. But before I get into this video, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And make sure you hit your post notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I know a lot of people have not been getting notifications for my videos. I'm cold, y'all. So, so I went to another section um, at Sydney's church. Same church, but I went to another branch. How about that? And it was actually good. It's a smaller, so it's like they have the main church, which is, which is big. And, you know, it's a big Part. so this one I think is a little more intimate and then you have the teen section which they have their own little building and stuff and it's cute they got a basketball court in there and everything all types of video games is real they really it's really nice it makes you want uh, if you a teen it makes you want to go to church and the fellowship is great I think that's one of the reasons why Sydney fell in love with the church you know the fellowship is great They're, they gear the service towards the teenagers 
So anyway, my little sweat towel for when I get on a treadmill. But, and I was like, oh, this is kind of small. You know, I'm sitting there by myself. I got there early since the girl's like, I'm always late. <laughs> I was early. So I'm sitting there by myself and um, I told Cindy it was fine. I said, because I have stuff to do, you know, on my phone or whatever. I, I had things I had to accomplish that I wanted to accomplish. So it wasn't a big deal that I sat there by myself and get my thoughts together. Just taking a moment. It was quiet. They had the lighting. They had the candles. It, the, it's really nice. The ambiance is very, very nice. So I was like, you know, they start the service. Lots of singing. You know, not really my kind of music. But it was good. They were great singers, you know. It was good. And they were getting into it and stuff. Well, I was like, okay, let's just see. You know, I'm here for the word. You know, I don't know what it is, but every time I go to the church, I want to cry. I don't know what it is. So I think I did cry. <laughs> I was trying to be on a low key with it, and I did cry this today. And then I had a good cry in my car when I got home. I sat in my car for probably 30 minutes. So then, um, the preacher came out. I assumed he was the pastor. He had on jeans. A t-shirt did he have on sneakers I don't know but he was jeans and t-shirt <laughs> and it was a um a good message and I felt like it's it's like stuff that I already do but it was a great message I was like uh-huh yeah mm-hmm <laughs> You know, I was bringing the black, the blackness to the white service. Uh-huh. Preach. Yes. Mm-hmm. Praise God. <laughs> yes. Say it again. Mm-hmm. Say it in again for the people in the back that didn't hear. Uh-huh. You heard that? All right, system. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. There was no hoopla. He did the service. Uh, it was done. Girl, sis, let me tell you this. Hold on. I know I'm jumping around. Just calm down. Calm down. You know, I, I never have cash. Like, ever, ever. I mean, I'm lucky if I have enough cash to go to Bobby's games, okay? So I think I had $2. And I was like, dear God, I kind of need this $2. But I'm going to split one of these with you. Because I know you can make it multiply. <laughs> you can multiply this, okay? So I put a dollar in there when the, you know, when the little basket came to me. Honey, there was a $100 bill sitting right there. I was like, oh groceries and I was like what kind of money these people be making they be doing hundred dollar bills in an orphan plate and my little dollar I was embarrassed but I just gave what I what I had you weren't getting two of my dollars you could have one 50 50 I split it in half I kept a dollar I gave you a dollar so that's how that's going down one for me one for you and let's make things happen now can we make this multiply like you do with the one <laughs> Jeez, I was like, oh, good Lord, Lord, a hundred dollar bill. I was like, oh, Jesus. So anyway, that, I was just like, oh, who put that in there? Let me go sit next to you. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I'm squeezing in between y'all. How you doing? <laughs> so, um. But the service was great and it was about the message was really, really good. So it's like you live your life every day. And some of people pray, but they're praying for, you know, I want this car. I want this. I want to get this guy. I want to get this girl. I want to get this house. I want to get this outfit. I want to get this jewelry. I want to get this. Please help me get this. This, this, this. It's about what you want for yourself. But in reality, what story are you going to leave behind? What do you want for others? What do you want that can help someone else? How you need to pray for how God can help you be a better you by helping other people and not be so selfish. 
Does that make sense? So what do you want? What story do you want to leave behind? How do you want people to remember you? What are you going to leave behind? And that was the, the message. What are you going to do to make a difference in this world? And for me, I'm just talking for me, you have to find your why. You have to find your why. You have to find your purpose. If you don't have a purpose and you're not trying to leave an amazing legacy of positivity and things you want people to say long at positive things you want people to say long after you're gone, then what was the purpose? I know I've had plenty of struggles in my life. You guys know that. I've shared it with you. I share it with the world. But ultimately, a lot of people question why I tell my story. I tell my story so I can be that God in life for someone someone else. N I'm not successful, you know, where I've reached, you know, riches and all that stuff. But I can always say that I told my story. I told my truth. I know that my truth has helped a lot of people. I know that my struggle has helped a lot of people. I've told my story about my life growing up in Brooklyn and how it has encouraged other people because your history is part of who you are. But what are you going to do with that history? And I've chosen to share my stories of perseverance, of overcoming with other people to give them that strength to not give up to give them that strength to keep going when they think they can't because look i did it i did it i'm still living yeah life has been hard as hell but i did it i'm still doing it you know i still when i pray you know you know when i pray i pray for how can god use me to be that light for other people of course i ask you know for the financial burden to be lifted and all that stuff but that's that if it happens it happens it doesn't it doesn't but i pray that i can be used to spread my love and my light and my joy to others and that's what i feel like i do as a teacher like i say i'm not a phenomenal teacher but far as capturing the kids hearts and building those relationships that's my gift um and i feel as though even me touching the lives of some of my students is me serving is me um leaving that positivity in my hands of goodness and love and light on other people so i know that there's more i feel like there's something greater that i can be doing a bigger impact i can be making will it be this platform i don't know i'm not what people want to see but you know for the people who are here even if it's five of you and hopefully i touch your lives in some kind of way i'll give you that hope and that encouragement that i know that i'm doing my job you know i'm doing the work that I've been put on this earth to do. And I do feel that way. So my question is, what are you going to do to leave that amazing story af long after you're gone? How are you gonna make an impact on the world or impact on somebody's life or a whole bunch of lives? Like I would love to do, and then, then it had me thinking about my two year plan of what I wanna do and wanna travel, see the world. But how can I use that newfound freedom to make a difference I have a few ideas that I want to do I still want to do something education wise and reaching other children but you know maybe you know do some maybe join a Peace Corps I thought about that my friend talked about that I was like okay let's do that I never thought about that um, Habitat for Humanity go to you know do more stuff like that but the Peace Corps you know and if I was to do the Peace Corps but I, I, if I was to do the Peace Corps I want to start here I want to start in America. I want to start in the United States to help what we have here and then branch out. But I still want to have that opportunity to travel. Does that make sense? So, I don't know. So, the question is, with the time we have here left, what are you going to do with that time? Is it still just serving yourself and doing, you know, and growing your masses, doing what, what pleases you and only you? What are you going to do to serve other people and leave that positive light on someone else? So that was the um, message in a nutshell and it hit home for me. It was really a great message and it was good. It was good. It made me really think about other things that I could do to make an impact on whether it's my students, the world, 
um, telling more of my life story and perseverance and stuff, so on and so forth. So, I don't know. So, I just thought it was a great, a great lesson. Thank you for hanging out with me if you are still here. I know there are some people who just stayed to the end and I appreciate that. I love you guys and thank you for loving me. Um, you know, through the good times, the bad times, I appreciate it all. And just think about it, reflect on how do you want to be remembered? What legacy do you want to leave behind? How do you plan to make a difference in the lives of others and be a service to other people? Um, and what's going to be your story? What story do you want told? What story do you want to tell? And what story do you want told about you? So what is your purpose? What Do you have a bigger purpose outside of you, yourself? What is your purpose? And I kind of know what mine is. You know, I've been doing it for a while. I've always, you know, want to do for other people as much as I can with what I have. So, you know, even with this platform, even though it's not very big, hopefully one day it'll grow and I can reach and inspire and encourage other people and more people. Um, that would be a blessing. Or even if I just touch the lives of one or two, that's a blessing to me as well. So with that said, you know, I'll talk to y'all forever. I thought about going live. I was like, nope, you, I'll be on here for two, three hours. Nope. <laughs> Look, I'm going to save y'all. I'm going to save y'all. See, I'm, I'm thinking about y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't forget to hit your post notifications. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, morning, afternoon, whatever it is for you. Until next time. Later.